because they're still, once you, I mean, remember, your bag is still growing. Until you reach that point, your bag is growing. At that point, you begin unloading. You begin letting go of your baggage. You let it go through the hole. You let it get pulled out. It's like a person who's not going to get rid of their possessions in a boat that's sinking until, you see, until the boat's sinking. They're going to try to hold as much as they can. Oh, do I have to really get rid of that? Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, we we're going to sink if you don't. Okay, I'll get rid of it. It's like, it's almost like you only let go of what you need to until you hit the point where you know that holding them, you see, is creating the suffering. And so, just be conscious. The only thing that's necessary really is to be aware. You don't have to do anything else. Just be aware. By being aware that you're aware is the highest path. To be aware of awareness itself is meditating on the self. That is the only way to really move into that state. No matter how subtle the object is that you're meditating on, no matter how subtle the thought is, no how beautiful the emotion is, mm -hmm. it's still a thing, it's still a form, and there's still duality, which keeps the mind alive, it keeps your bag alive. Because sometimes the ego will even try to take love and mutate it into some type of earthly romantic attachment. You see. But in the name of spirituality, I'm going to devote myself to love, to this path of love. Love arises when the mind is still. That's when you feel love. If you're in a situation where your mind is still, then love blossoms. Then everything, you see everything is love. Everything is love. Everything is beautiful is peaceful. So if you get behind the mind and stay there, then it's possible to know what that is. Otherwise, the type of love, the brand of love that we're talking about in most cases is really a form of attachment. How do you know it's an attachment? Consider yourself for a moment without that person. Mm -hmm. If they left, or if they wanted to be with someone else, how would you feel? Okay, you want to know if it's love? Ask yourself that question. Mm -hmm. When you have more freedom, or as much freedom, in the relationship as you did when you were single, and there's love. Freedom and love are synonymous. Without freedom, there is no love. And since most people really have a difficult time with the L word, they really don't know how to define or assess that Usually the word freedom is the most effective word at establishing whether or not you're in a healthy, loving relationship. Not how many times they tell you they love you to reassure you. That's nice to hear. It is nice to hear. And, and I'm not, you know, putting that down. I'm saying you want to see if your relationship is happy. Do you have the same freedom? as you would have if you were single. In fact, if you support each other and nurture each other, you'll actually have more freedom.